During this lesson, we will construct the yoke skirt using various drafting tools, the facing tool and the rotation tool. We begin by building the basic frame for the skirt using guidelines. Draw a guideline by dragging from the side rulers. Type a distance and click next to the selected guideline to make a parallel guideline. In order to select guidelines, the control and tab key must be depressed. Construct the waistline 7.5 inches long. Left click to start the line, type the length, and then right click to finish it. Type BB left click to blend the hip curve. Move one of the red cross control points to shape the curve. Press the keep button or the enter key to finish. Using the quick step method is the easiest way to move points. Draw the yoke line with the Bezier Polyline tool. We use the BB Quick Step to blend the curve. We want to add two points on the waistline at equal distance. Move the Control Point tool on top of the line and type 2. This is a shortcut method for entering points. Notice how we use the shift key to lock the dragging direction to a horizontal angle. Add half inch darts to the waistline using the V quick step method. With the rotation tool, select lines to rotate. Use the shift key to accumulate selections. Then drag a rotation reference line from a point to the second point. Move the cursor to the desired rotation angle and left click to perform the rotation. D quick step stands for detached and it causes a copy of all selected lines to be rotated. Use the delete key to delete unnecessary lines. Trace the yoke piece using the trace tool. Remember to right click to complete the tracing. Now, trace the rest of the skirt. Move the pieces by dragging with the control key down. You can zoom in or out using the mouse wheel or the Z key for zoom in and X key for zoom out. Now, we show you how to add shearing to the skirt. Select the two opposing sections. Click one end of the selected section. The piece fans out towards the click side. We use the BB Quick Step to blend the curve. We want to add a pleat in the front of the skirt for design. We could use the Unfold Facing tool. First, select a section. Then drag a line to designate the fold line. Notice we use a quick step entry to specify the facing width of 2 inches. Repeat the steps to complete the pleat shape. Designate the mirror line using the M quick step method. Select the pieces with the control selection method and try the control up or down arrow sequence. This is a very convenient shortcut for folding and unfolding mirror patterns.